Welcome back guys for another video on gilded.gg and how you can set up your own personal server Last time we went over the different groups and the level reward system that can be utilized And today we're going to be going over the different types of bots that you can utilize within their system now, I just want to note real quick, uh, as I feel like this is an important announcement, Gilded.gg has just recently released their subscriptions to your personal servers. Be sure to go in and connect your account, get that all set up, and that is something that you can actually use with these bots that we're going to be going over today as well. This subscription system is a lot like Patreon in the sense that you can set up your own tiers and your own pricing. Uh, but what this will do is essentially let you keep everything within one platform. So guys, let's jump into it. And I'm excited to show you what we have. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this week's video on the bots uh, from your main server. You're going to go up to your settings and go to settings. Uh, from there, we're going to go ahead and go into our bots. Now, the great thing about Gilded.gg and their bot system is that you create your own flow bots. Um, as you can see, there's a few default bots down here that they give you automatically, such as your XP bot, which sets up for your leveling. Uh, you also have a howdy bot for people that are first coming into your server, as well as integrations for your Twitch or Patreon if you use it. Um, from there, you can pretty much set up any type of bot that you want. Um, I typically like to categorize mine. So as you can see, I've got like a support bot in here. I've got a dad bot for some dad jokes. Uh, and then I've got a mad dog bot, which is essentially for my personal announcements to the community uh, as well as the subscriber bot that I just recently created for the new subscriptions tab. So we're going to jump into these right now. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into these bots. The first thing we're going to do is go up here to create a bot from there. You're going to name it. So let's say, for instance, you want to set up a help bot for your community. You'll name it help uh, or whatever you want to name it. Feel free to name it. Uh, I typically try to find an icon that matches with what that bot is going to be doing. So in this case, you can find like a question mark or something like that and put that in that image. Um, and then once you've done that, you're going to go down here to add a flow. Uh, and then what you're going to need to do is set a trigger and an action for that trigger. So in this case, we're going to say add a trigger. Um, there's a ton of different options that you can pick from. Um, as you can see, general voice chat, membership lists, calendars, forms, um, we mentioned lists, documents, media, announcements, voice again. Uh, and then you get down here, which is going to be more of these specific integrations that they've made with Twitch, Patreon, and their new subscriptions feature. Um, so there's a lot that you can do with this. In this case, for a help bot, we're going to say that a member sends a chat message, uh, for instance. And then you're going to pick a channel. So if you have a specific channel for support requests, you could select that channel to go there. Otherwise, I would just typically leave it to any chat or voice channel in case somebody needs help. Um, you could set it to any member or role, but let's say that you want to set a message to a specific member so that only that member can use that message. Uh, you can set it up that way. Uh, in this case, we're not necessarily going to say exact content because uh, let's say that I want the user to put in some sort of information as to what they need help with. Um, this would work the best. So we'll say when message contains, and then typically what I'll do is try to make it uh, specific enough so that let's say that somebody just types help in a random message, but they're not asking for help. We don't want that message to pop up. So in this case, I'm going to do exclamation point help. And then hopefully that will help kind of separate the two. Um, so what we're going to do is click next. And then from there, we're going to pick our action. So in this case, we want our action to be that when the member sends a message, it then sends a, me a message to our mod group. Uh, so in this instance, we're going to check again to send a custom message. But as you can see, you can add different things where let's say a member does something and then it adds a reaction. It can add a role. Uh, it could assign XP to the, to the member. Uh, it could add or remove them from a group. It could create a form topic, a list, or it could give them permissions or remove those permissions. Um, so in this case, we're going to say send a message because we want it to send a message to our mods. 
and in this case you can pick a channel uh so like i set up my mod group and set channels in there so let's say that i wanted to use mod uh, i think i have it actually set up as support yeah so you can see i have support tickets set up under my mod group only my mods can see this specific channel so this allows a little bit of privacy um, i know there's going to be some more work on the front end of the trigger that's going to have to happen so that we could possibly set up to have that message deleted once it's been posted and sent to the support tickets uh, but i'm hopeful that that's something that we'll see down the line so we want this to go to that specific channel that way the mods can pick it out easily um, and then what we're going to do is go in and put in some message content so in this case what i typically like to do if you do your money sign it will give you different triggers I'm going to pick the specific user and I'm going to say uh, so and so has requested has requested assistance with and then I'm also going to do triggering content for summary. What this will do is let's say they type exclamation point help uh, and then directly after that they say I need help with setting up my audio. Um, what this will do is say that so and so has requested assistance with exclamation point help um, space need help with audio so this will give a summary of what the request actually was um, and then what i'll do is typically click next on that um, and then from here you can just save the bot and that will save that flow command in there so that if you go in and you type help in any channel now it's going to send that message to your mod group um, so there's a ton of different features you can do with that like i said play around with those triggers play around with the actions um, see what kind of ideas you can come up with. If you come up with anything great, please uh, message, put it in the comments, uh, join our Gilded, let us know what you've come up with. I would love to hear what kind of ideas you all come up with in the future. Um, in this case, we're going to go ahead and exit out of this. I'm not going to save these because I don't need to save them. Uh, but let's go back in here real quick. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the specific bots I have and some of the triggers that I have set up personally. Um, so... <laughs> When it comes to me, I, I like to think that I have a sense of humor and I can kind of joke around. So we created what we call the dad bot. Um, and what the dad bot will do is essentially when a member puts a specific term in the chat, uh, it'll send a response. So in this case, uh, if we look at this one to edit, uh, we can see that I, I noticed a lot of people were just saying, hey, and they were not saying anything else. So what I did was created a trigger where whenever somebody says, hey, it then responds by saying, hay is for horses, straw is cheap, cheaper, grass is free, buy a farm, get all three. This is something that my father-in-law has said over the years and I just find to be funny. Uh, and I thought that the community would get a really big kick out of it. Um, another one that I did, which you can see down here, uh, whenever somebody just says, yo, uh, it'll respond with yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Oh, that's not what we're talking about. Um, I can tell you that the members in the community uh, love this one for some reason and will spam yo at times just to get this response. So it's it's a good way to be interactive with your community and, and have a little bit of fun. Um, so let's go back. Okay, so with the Mad Dog bot, I do have some other triggers set up to where when a member joins, it'll send a custom message to a channel to let me know that they've joined. Um, also, you can set up things uh, such as like I have a YouTube channel and whenever I take the link from my YouTube and paste it into that specific media channel, it then sends a custom message to my chat to let them know that a new video has been posted to be sure to go over, like, follow, comment, and so on. Um, and then also there are some other things that I have set up where uh, if I type in somebody wants to know what all my socials are, uh, just kind of like they do in like a Twitch chat or Glimish or whatever service you use, uh, you can type in that command and then it will respond with a message that gives them my links. Um, so there's a lot of creative features you can come up with in regards to that. Um, for the subscriber bot, this is one that I am still working on myself, um, but they do add a lot of functions that you can do. So if we go into add a trigger, uh, you see that you can add some sort of a trigger event for every time there's a subscription created updated or canceled now i could set this up to a specific channel where it lets me know if a member has ended their subscription that way i can account for it uh in terms of bookkeeping purposes down the road um the only one i have right now is i do have a command set up to where when somebody subscribes it'll send a message to the everyday chat just to let them know that so and so is a rock star and that they have subscribed 
to the group to help support our community and to help with potential giveaways, um, activities, uh, member servers that we run and so on. Um, so going back, we're going to go through now to our support ticket. This is one that I actually just showed you a minute ago. Um, if we take a quick look at that, you'll see that whenever somebody types the message exclamation point help, uh, it'll then tag my moderators. It will give a user and it will give the request. So, uh, just a couple little ideas of things you can do with that. Um, as you can see, I also added a mental health command. Um, so if I see that a user has said something, maybe that, uh, is borderline mental health, maybe they're asking for help. Um, I can then go in and type this command in, and this will give them a resource, um, of different mental health communities that are there to assist them. Um, and I felt like this is just something that was very near and dear to my heart and something that I felt would help the community in the long run. So, uh, just an idea of, of something that you could come up with there. Uh, now we can go into things like Twitch bots and Patreon. I specifically for Twitch, obviously, um, have notifications set up to where I have my own personal channel to let me know when a member from the community has either followed, subscribed, unfollowed, unsubscribed. That way I can account for that myself. Um, you can also set it up to where whenever your stream goes online, it will automatically send a message to your promotions channel to let everybody know that you're live. Um, in this case, I actually ended up going with an IFTTT, uh, and if then, then that statement that will send a custom, um, embedded link. Uh, it just looks a little bit cleaner in my opinion. Um, but you can also set up. So for members in my community that are subscribers, uh, whenever somebody goes live, what I do is I have Twitch send a message to my auto promotions channel to let people know that those members have gone live. We also have, um, other things set up for that whenever somebody that's within our auto promotion list um, goes live, it'll send it as well. So there's a lot of cool features you can do with this um, in terms of Twitch, Patreon, and um, the new subscriptions bot that has been added for uh, Gilded itself. Um, and then the last one here is your XP bot. Um, and if we take a look at that, a lot of these are automatically set up when you start your server, you can go in and customize these. I did mess with some of the point system myself. Um, I like to make people level slowly. Uh, I wouldn't want somebody level 100 within the first couple weeks. So um, play with those XP levels. Um, you can see I've disabled some. I, I don't want members in my community creating events or creating announcements. So these don't typically fall in line with what they would be able to do. So those, you can see that I've gone ahead and actually just unclicked. <laughs> Um, and then some of the others, I've just messed around with some of the values, but you can also go in, like you can see, I added that whenever a member follows or subscribes on Twitch, they'll also gain additional points. Uh, so you'll probably see me add some stuff in too, where if a member subscribes to the Gilded server, they'll get XP points as well. So, uh, just a couple little ideas, uh, keep an eye out for that. Thanks again, everybody for tuning in. I hope that this was helpful for you today. If you do have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Uh, let me know. I would be happy to help. Um, as you can see, the bot system is very useful the way that it's set up right now. Uh, Gilded.gg is trying to keep away from needing to add all of the third-party bots. Uh, a lot of this, they want to be able to integrate into their own personal system. And I myself think this is great. I think it limits how much you have to do outside of the platform and allows you to consolidate everything. So hopefully we'll see more as time goes on. I would love to see maybe some music bots added, some giveaway bots um, some different features along those lines that could help with community building. Um, next time we will discuss how you can set up web hooks in your own channels. This is great for if you use things like YouTube, uh, if you have Reddit feeds that you want to feature, or if you have Twitch announcements and things of that sort that you want to have uh, custom embeds sent to your channels. So guys, as always, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate all the support. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell notification. That way you can be notified the next time that we post a video.